Good morning! It's Jonna and Darcy. We're scrappy potty people in the morning. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, good morning! We, we've we already started. So let me I'm gonna clear my desk. Yeah, and, and there's a shadow on the desk, so we'll, we may have to make a couple little adjustments here and there. Oh. I know. The dreaded shadow. It haunts me still to this day, the sh like dark shadows. Ooh, I love that show. You, did. you did. Clinton. Oh. Tortured me. Can you imagine, though? Like, there's what? Eight, di eight years difference between us. So I'd be sitting there with our other sister and my little brother watching Dark Shadows, and she was little tiny, and she would just be terrified. Oh, I know. You they don't think to... about that, you know? When you're. I was five, and they dragged me to those horror horror movies. Oh, you just didn't want to be away from us. You had to do everything we did. You know what? Why is my camera adjusting to the light? <laughs> You'd get all scared. Yeah. You know what? Because you have a... Hey, Sherry. Because you've got a light coming from the side, I think it's casting a shadow. Does that make sense? But I've got lights coming from overhead, off four sides of me. I have like... Turn something off. Try turning something off. Yeah. She did, Dee Dee. Oh, we got reach reach alerts today too. What are those? Well, your arm comes over and reaches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, my computer is across the desk from me. I have to give reach alerts. <laughs> sorry, reaching. <laughs> okay, how's that? Is that better? No. No? Oh, yeah. well, you have a little bit of glare, but it's not terrible. Let's go. I can't brighten my camera setting because, okay, let me do that. And you know what I can do? Well, it's shi the duct tape's shiny, too, so, you know, that's probably doing it. Well, I can get rid of the duct tape, which will make one person in the chat very happy. Yeah, that was suggested. <laughs> How's that? Better? I opened up the window. I think it'll be fine. I mean, I think it'll be fine. At least there's no dark shadow being cast when you... Yeah, that's good right there. Okay, I opened up my window. Okay. I mean, we have a little bit of glare, but we'll just embrace the glare. It's only... It's not in the middle. Good morning, Marie. <laughs> hey, Marie. Yes, everyone says it's better. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. I'm going... Sherry here. Did you say hi to Sherry? Hey, Sherry. Thank you, Tweety. So, um, okay, so let me show real quick what we're doing. Um, we are, I don't know if you guys have seen. I can't flip my camera. My, it's really weird because my camera is like totally missing from my computer. So I need to go in and uh, reinstall it and all that stuff, but I just... Turn it around. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Yay! So we're making a, an actual bowling bag, and it actually zippers. Has a zipper, and yes, I did stitch. Uh -oh. I actually broke out my sewing machine for this project. And, um... <laughs> you wish, Eileen. She wants flamingo bowling pins. Oh, I can I can accommodate. We might be able to arrange that for you, Eileen. I can definitely arrange that. Thanks, JJ. You just gave somebody a good idea if they didn't have it yet. Think about it. I can so do. I can arrange that because I have a flamingo die cut that will fit on the bowling pin. I'll just have to die cut one really quick. Then so, you're going to be like me, putting flamingos on everything. Exactly. <laughs> it's spreading. So this, um, what happened was I had come across some photos from my birthday party and uh, last year. And um, and I had had a bowling ball, bowling part, bowling ball, a bowling, uh, we went to the bowling alley for my seven-year-old birthday party. Aw, thanks, guys. They're all saying it's adorable. 
Um, yes, it's made from craft text. But I'm going to give you an option to make it out of paper. So you don't necessarily have to make it out of craft text. I just wanted to mess with it and see how easy it was to sew on, you know, sew with. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of see how it worked as fabric. I, I don't really, to me, I don't really recommend it as fabric unless you're, unless you don't mind, uh, messing up with your stitches or if you are an extremely like really good so seamstress because like Barb I bet you she could do a great job because um if you make this it's unforgiving and if you make a mistake you um the holes are there and you can't take the holes back out now I haven't tried sewing having holes in it and then trying to wash it afterward I haven't tried doing that to see if the holes come out if you wash it. So that might be another another day, another experiment. But we um we saw the Craftex at CHA and then um I know a lot of people are using it on Ustream right now in their binding things, but I actually wanted to see if I made binding systems, but I actually wanted to see if I actually made if I made something with it, how well it would sew and how well it's gonna hold up and stuff like that. And I'm really happy. I mean you can't yeah. Yeah, Marie, we can show what it is. Uh, Kathy Orta started using it quite a bit. And so if you watch any of hers, if you have access to her recordings, you'll see her doing some bindings with it. And I believe Xandra did a binding with it too at one point. So when, as people show up today, we'll let them put in their links, but that's what we've seen so far. Yes, I can show you what it is. It comes in three colors. It's by a company called, um, C T Publishing, C N T Publishing. Their website is ctpub.com, and um, they make other products too because they make like sheets of glitter. What what was that stuff called? It's like a me like a rhinestone mesh almost that you can like that you and I don't know where that is. They make kinds of uh, specialty papers and cardstock. So they made like. Almost a uh, neon and day glow and all these yeah like reflectors and neon colors and that kind of thing. It's, it's, they make really cool stuff. Yeah, like reflector reflector fabric too. Yeah, and glitter papers and um, Eileen said it embosses great too. I've yes. not tried that. Yes, and it does emboss great. It really and it holds the emboss. So, but it's not as thick as like grunge paper. They made like that. They make this. Will cut. Like if you don't watch your shim properly, it, the embossing folder can cut into the paper. Can cut into the craft text. Because I was watching somebody do that the other day. So um. Oh, oh you got your bracelet. I do. I don't know where mine is. We get those at CHA. Isn't that cool? And we got this at CHA too. But what did we get? I don't remember who we got this from. We got it from that girl that pull up. Uh, what's her first name? The the uh, heart, the beaded the heart. The girl, Marissa. Isn't that her name, Marissa Paluka or something like that? Oh shoot, now I'm really butchering her name. I need to find. <laughs> oh, Pavelka. Not the Sizzix girl. This thing, the puppy. Oh, that. I don't know who we got that from. The other thing got we got from Marissa. Yeah, and wasn't isn't it her husband that has his company? Yes. Yeah. So cute, cute young couple. Oh my gosh, they were adorable. So, She's so cute. She's the one that has the new had the new little Sizzix machine, and then she had like all these kind of '80s style dyes and things. Really fun. Yeah, and then she was she ended up getting on the Today Show. She was really cute. Aww. So, um, this is the black. Like you can, you see, they can you can even make a tote with it. And you can do like book covers and boss it and all kinds of stuff. But um let's see, it retailed it retails for twelve ninety five. Okay, her name's Marissa Pavelko, but I think you pronounce it Pavelko. But I sorry Marissa, butchered your name, but you're so adorable. She's the cutest thing. They have it at Walmart. If you have a Walmart, you just, like, my, uh, our Walmart, have, you have to order it online, and then you can get it sent to the store. 
So if you have a Walmart, you can order it online and then have it sent to your store. And if they don't charge you shipping if you pick it up at your store. So, and they also have it by the, you can buy it on the bolt. Like uh, some places like fabric stores will sell it by the yard on a bolt. And um, yeah, so what I recommend is you, um, for this project, I actually got it in white. You can get it in white, and today we're going to be working with the white. And you can um, spray it, dye it. They use, like, Rit dye on it. I'm, I wonder where my white paper was for the white one because they had a really cute project. They had a book cover. Um, and I, They made an iPad cover with it or a tablet cover, cover with it. Hey, Mom. Mom's in here. Yay. Hi, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, you haven't seen it. Mom, when do you see the pictures of the birthday party? <laughs> I know, right? Like, she doesn't remember. She'll remember. No, I know. Having to, all those kids in the house. Okay, so, <laughs> so try not to do a glare. Anyway, this was like the party. I wish I had a picture with the little girl on the decoration. I wish I had that had been. Ooh, I need to cover the date or you all know how old I am. So, <laughs> let me get some washi tape. Let me get some washi tape. I think the paneling gives it away, Jonna. <laughs> Does it? Oh, shoot. <laughs> so, here, sure. here I am blowing out my candle. I had to laugh when I saw my little patchwork, patchwork um, overalls. I loved those. I remember wearing those to death. So... And then here I am with some friends, and the weird part is I do remember everybody's name. Okay, this was Siobhan. Her, they, I remember they moved to town, and she had a really cool room. She's the one that, like, her mom painted, like, a rainbow on the wall, and I just thought that was the coolest thing. And this is Eric Johnson. And the last time I had contact, had contact with him, he was living in... I'm not saying what year that was. No. And <laughs> that's so funny, JJ. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, that is Mary Cameron. She was my best friend growing up. Let's see. Right here. I'm trying, oops, I'm trying not to get a glare. There we go. Somebody got me finger paint. And then Beverly, she, her, um, when I was growing up later on, I think I was like 10, I worked with her dad, Mary Cameron. This is her down here with the little, oops, right here with the braids. And her, she and Beverly and I used to go to Beverly's dad, you know, to their house and pick green beans for the summer. And so, let's see. Oh my gosh, those are like so vintage. Too bad they're really of your life. I know, right? Okay. Oh, shoot. There's a stick. I don't know. How'd that get on there? A photo spot. I tried to do those um, ones that don't ruin your photo. Oh, no. It's like peeling my photo. Oh, well, at least I have a copy of this one. Okay, well, maybe I'll wait and use some undo on that. Okay. And then this was our the farmhouse that we lived in. I thought that was really pretty with the snow. And then, um, let's see. Okay. Um, this is a vintage scorecard. Okay, we did, we're putting, I did these with Velcro, so you could take them off and journal on the back, which I haven't done any journaling. But they've got, like, little Velcro tabs there. They pop off. So I have a vintage Coca-Cola uh, bowling scorecard. Uh, this is a pocket, and this is a download. If you go there now, this was a, a free download that I found off of, um, off the internet. The website, if you want to get a personal scorecard, it's called printyourbrackets.com, and you can go in there and you can print this out, but I split it, so I did one this way. This was the cover. Isn't it cute? Personal. In case you want to make like a cute little card for, you know, Father's Day, 
you could print it out. Yeah, printyourbrackets.com. So, and then this was a vintage bowling card game. And I just did little journaling spots out of this. Little journaling spots. But isn't it cute? Because it had like bowling pins. So my birthday's on the 31st. So I did 31 there. And here I am bowling. That shoe is really was really cute too. And let's see. Then this opens up, and here we are all having cake afterward. Oh, there. So, yeah, there's Walter. Walter Matson. Oh, I saw him in one of the back things. And this is the other side. So when you print your score sheet, uh, this is you're going to get this um, right here. Yes, it would make a great Father's Day gift, and that's why we thought this was a good time to do it. If you uh, so you print your we'll bracket. Have pattern, we'll have a pattern on the blog this weekend, so you'll be able to cut it out. So we can get started, and then I had two extra pages because we have slides, and I know that they are. And we put, I put little feet on the bottom. That I know that they're um, in my slides. I need to just, from when I was growing up, I got all the slides. I just need to find them. I know I have more pictures, so I left room for more pictures. But, yeah, it'll make a great Father's Day gift. And we're going to, today we're going to put, like, elastic right here so you could tuck, um, Darcy said, like, popcorn and a gift certificate or maybe some game tickets or something like that. So... Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, everybody's saying it's so cute. It is cute, isn't it? The colors are great. What paper did you use for this one? Okay, this paper was called... Um, oh, I know, Jonna. She was so cute. This paper is called uh, must Glasses and Mustaches. Stashes? Oh, that was it. Yeah, it's a Hobby Lobby stack. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can, what do I do with this? Okay. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Hmm. I don't see where I, I know I stashed it away. I know, you know, you're looking at it hour after hour, day after day while you're making it, and then all of a sudden you go to show everybody and can't find it. That's what happened to me. I know. Where's my stack? That's so odd. I just had it. I've been working. Under a pile I have no piles. I've cleaned my room. That's the problem. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I cleaned my That'll room. Get you. That'll uh, get you every time. Oh, wait. Is this it over here? Yeah, I decided what I was going to do when I finished a product. I was going to make... I did. I, oh, I have a drawer or a slot for... This is the this is the paper line called glasses, stashes, and ties. Ooh, I love archery. I did archery in college. Took a minute to get the hang of the bow and arrow, but it was really fun. Yeah, I did it in um oh thanks, JJ. <laughs> Jerry's grandfather owned an archery store. That's cool. I did it in high school. I actually loved it. That was fun. Me too. Okay, so this is the line, this is the paper line that I ended up using, which it's really great um, because I wouldn't suggest, it's not thin, I mean it's thin, it's thin cardstock, so I wouldn't say I would build out of this, but if you use it on a cardstock, like, or you line chipboard with it, it it's fine. But there was, I got it because it had, I thought this was cute with all the bowling pins. I but know, it, isn't that amazing that you were able to get a line that had bowling pins on it? Awesome. Yes. It wasn't that I didn't look everywhere. And I thought I was I thought it was interesting because the graphic forty five line didn't have bowling in it. It had golf, baseball, something else. I was surprised it didn't have bowling. Hey Kathy, how are you? Gosh, it's gotta be early there. Hi Kathy. Eileen bowled um, flamingos in high school. 
<laughs> she was on the high school bowling team. Uh, see, this cool. is so cute with the glasses, the mustaches, and the ties. And anyway, I, I do I have a slot now in my room that when I'm when I make a project and I use the paper line, and I just stick it. It's like I stick it in the slot, and I forgot I had done that. So eventually, like I'll have. And then when it gets full and I don't go back to use that paper, I'm going to, then I'll just gift it to somebody. But it has like gears and this really was a cute line for guys. Yeah, super. And then it just had some like normal print, just some prints, glasses, which I thought were really cute. Oh my goodness, Kathy, you get an award. 6.30? Wow. No, it looks like you have a lot left. Get, get. That's because it comes with four fishing. It comes with four sheets of everything, which is great for project building. It really is. Or like one of those monster albums with the gazillion mats, like some people out there make. <laughs> some people whose names start with Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> Time. <Die. laughs> exactly. That's why we love Kathy Orta because we use up our stash whenever we make one of her mini albums. It's true. Wood, which I think this is a really cute, uh, um, this reminds me of, I don't know why, but Yellowstone, uh, yeah, uh, Jellystone, the campground. Remember the campground we went to, the Jellystone campground? I don't know why this reminds me of Yogi Bear. It just does. Oh. <laughs> that wood pattern. Okay. Oh, yes. Fish. That's funny. Oh, thanks, Kathy. She said it's so worth it to watch us, to get to get up early to watch us. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell can, you what. Can I get you that know, in writing? we did the last show where we got up, well, we started at 8, only because it was National Scrapbook Day, and, you know, we everybody was going to be on that day, and so we wanted to get in and do our show like we always do, but then we wanted to watch everybody else. But we really enjoyed doing it in the morning because, um, you know, it's not – at night by the time you're done <laughs> exactly yeah because we're not going through breakfast lunch and dinner on our stream with no food <laughs> <laughs> yeah who does that to us i it's know so right? we do to ourselves, but you know oh, but our no. time is so limited that this works well for us and you know you can spend a month watching recordings and if you want to make the project you can so it works for us okay so um, we're going to get started, woohoo, but I'm going to, because I'm not going to, I don't have enough, like, space, and I don't have the facility to, yes, that's true, JJ, Ustream does behave bit better, um, I don't have the facility to, like, show, or the capability to show my sewing machine while I'm working on it, I went ahead and did a couple of steps, uh, first. To get that part out of the way but I am going to show you how I did the binding and I, I can give you an option for the binding so if you don't have a sewing machine and I can also give you an option the cool thing about craft hex is it absorbs liquid glue so it'll it adheres really well and the glue that I really have found works really nicely with it is uh, this it's called quick grip super strong super quality um, and I just, if you're going to work with it and uh, you don't want your project coming apart, I rec I highly recommend the Quick Grip. It, it has done really well and it's held up really well. Uh, the only issue that I found with using a wet glue with the Craft Hex is that if you get it on the black, you'll see, a, you know, if you get any extra on the black, you'll see a shine. But if you take your um, Quick Pick, the eraser the adhesive eraser which I had to laugh because I've had this thing for like I don't know how many years and I think it was Ashley the other day pulled it out I think maybe I don't know oh my I had this from like remember when we used to do creating creative memories they we used to get these and it be I don't know what kind of why it works what kind of what property this eraser has but it gets the glue off of it if you do it right away. Like if you make the mistake and the glue is sitting on there and it's just starting to set up as like a gel and you take this and you rub it on there, it'll come off. 
if it dries on there, then you have a different problem. So. Yeah. And she put her initials on it in case I take it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything I find in case you take it. Exactly. I don't have, I don't have one. Oh, you don't? No. Uh, Do you have two? No. I don't know. I'll have to look. I think I just have the one. You know, it looks just like one of those, um, it's not one of those art erasers that's like that. I saw one at, I did see one at Hobby Lobby. I forgot what they called them. Oh, okay, good. I'll but it's it. not over in the, it wasn't in the art section. See, I have to go down to Dee Dee's house so I can stop at her Hobby Lobby. <laughs> oh, not to see Dee Dee? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go, Dweedy. Oh, no, I'll eventually get to Dee Dee's house. It's on the way. <laughs> Eileen, yeah, doesn't have one yet. I'm not sure, JJ, if it's the frisket type glue remover eraser. Uh, to be honest with you, I've had it for since no, like so nice. 1994, I think, when I was doing Creative Memories. So I've had it for like ever. I don't know. They, but I have seen them there. It was like an adhesive, it's called like an adhesive eraser or adhesive pickup, pickup. It might be to take off the frisket. I'm not really sure. I don't know, but I, I could even bring Dee Dee one because, you know, I'm a giver. <laughs> I could stop at Hobby Lobby and pick her up one, too. See how that works? There you go. It's a win-win. There you go. So, sorry for the arm reach. I'm just hitting uh, my... And I have a lag, so the reach alerts are coming late. Just saying. Okay. Sorry for the reach alert. Oh, goodness. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Munganana. 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 Banana. Scrap and share. I'm just doing shout outs to all you people hiding. <laughs> yeah, nice. I know. I'm sorry. Works. Hey, newbies. We got a bunch of newbies in here. Good morning. You guys are up early. Woo. Okay, so. That's my recommendation for working with this kind of adhesive. I think it works great. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to show you, I'm going to get some of the sewing stuff out of the way. And uh, the first thing I did was um, the binding system. The really cool thing about the, the binding system that I did with this album is that it's flexible. And so because you, and you can do this with paper and Tyvek. That's, I mean, you, oh, thanks, Amanda. We're happy to have you. She came to um, the scrapbook, National Scrapbooking Day. Oh, cool. And she came back. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> we <carry> you away. <laughs> Jonna's arm. That's so funny. Okay. So the really cool thing about it is, is that it's flexible. Now I did stitch, but I'm going to give you an option and I'm going to do it out of paper just, uh, just so I can dem demonstrate this. But, um, what you're, and you can make this as large as you need it or as small as you need it. So what you're going to do for this project is you're going to cut a piece that's three inches by four and three quarter, and that's going to be your base piece. Okay. And then what you'll do is you're going to, so let me, I'm going to make it out of paper so you can see how to make this. And I'm going to give you an option where you don't have to use your sewing machine if you don't want to. And if you can do a, if you can hand stitch, you want to do a Coptic stitch, that's fine. But um, Darcy named the binding because, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a little early. So not to offend, but she's calling it, <laughs> we're calling it the strip and stitch. So the strip and stitch binding. I don't know why we have to have a name for it, but whatever. We were just laughing one night and that's what we called it. See what I mean? See what you miss when we're not on here and we're just talking ourselves? Oh, Lordy. Exactly. So you're just going to cut the, you're going to cut the craft text from three inches by four and three quarter. Okay. So we got that. And then I gotta reach again because my stuff's in front of me. Sorry. And then I just take my corner rounder, the half inch, and go all the way around for 
four corners just because it makes it look nicer finishes it off okay so then what you'll do is you're going to cut at four and three quarters <laughs> and you're going to make another you're going to cut as many I'm giving you the dimensions for this binding for the for the uh, for the bowling bag, and the reason uh, why Jean, I'm sorry, I'm just saying hi to Jean. Okay, hey Jean. The reason why I like it is because it was flexible to where I could bend it over top of the zipper where these two meet, the bag at the bag meets, and then it just kind of folded, you know, it bent and went over over that spot. So, so when you opened it, you could get to your pages and things like you. It wasn't something that you had to pull out. You can leave it in. Yeah, that's nice because it bends like that. That's cool. Yeah, so you can think of all kinds of ways to use it. Okay, so four and three quarters, and you're just going to um, – I liked one – I've messed around with the distance on the little um, – uh, the things that you attach your page to and whatever that's called, the tabs. And so I kind of messed around with it, and I liked the one and a quarter because I liked the three-quarter inch. I thought it just kind of worked nice for this project, pushing it away. So one and three-quarter of an inch. And you're going to make as many pages as you want. And in this one, I did uh, each, each strip makes two tabs. So I had six pages in this. So how many strips did you make? I did three strips in this one. They were saying they can hear me type, or they can see what I type before they hear it, because I, I know I have, we have a lag. Oh, that's funny. That's okay. Mr. Lag showed up, but you know, everything else is going great, so. Okay, so you have three, and then I took... I took them now. If you're doing it out of craft text, you're gonna have to do one at a time. But because I'm doing this out of cardstock, I can do them all at one time. And I'm just using that uh, half inch corner rounder. And then I'm going to score it in half. So three quarter. I'm going to just score it down the middle each one. All right, and then you're going to fold it back open. And the only reason why I have that line there is I know where center is. And that way I can go in and I can uh, stitch along the line. So I don't have to, I mean, if you if you don't want to do the score mark, you don't have to. You can, um, you know, take a pencil and just draw it out if you want. Okay. You, John. Ah! Oh no, I used the cutting blade. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> I used the cutting blade instead of the scoring blade. It's a little early, people. Are you distracting me? Yeah. No? Okay, good. She's on a mission. If you didn't get to see the project and you came in a little later, I will mute and then type the link to our blog because the pictures are there. Why don't you just cop copy and paste? It's faster to type it. It is? If you just leave it on your paste bar, like your clipboard? I'm sitting here giving her um, advice, technical advice, and she's the one that does this for a living. Okay. That's too funny. It types way faster than she does. That's why. <laughs> uh, hey, just me. Yeah, well, typed. We, you're right. We would be waiting a while. If you need, if you need me, put a Q. Hey, and, and Dweedy does say there's a lag, so just get over it and don't email me, right? <laughs> That's Dweedy. I call, I call Dee Dee Dweedy. If you don't know who I'm talking about, because she, we were in a stream one day. Darcy was streaming, and I was the one that was like modding the chat, and I accidentally typed in. Dweedy, W D W E D E, and it just stuck. I just I got tickled, so I just call her that because I like Dweedy, because <laughs> it's like a sweetie Dweedy. Yeah, but now I dweedy. call her Dweedy. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's bad. <laughs> I know. And Joycey, Joycey gets it wrong because she was saying in her she's like Dweeby. I'm like, okay, wait, no, it's Dweedy, not Dweeby. 
Sweetie rhymes with sweetie. Exactly. Because <laughs> okay. she is. She is. Okay, so now you have your three strips, okay? And you have your base for your binding. So, you, okay, so we're here. Then we need to, I'm going to do it with a pen so that you can see what I'm doing. And you need to take, which I would love to, if I could find my ruler. I had it last night. Fortunately, I don't have to reach across the camera. But what you're going to do is you're going to uh, mark your stitch line. So we're going to come in uh uh, find the middle so if it's three inches center is one and a half or you can just use the centering ruler and find the middle and that's where your first strip will go and then from there I did a half an inch out okay and then I did another half inch out from the center, and those gave me my three stitch lines. So basically you're creating three signatures. Yes. But you can make this as big as you want. This is just for this album. This is how big of the uh, binding system that this uses, this project uses. But you can use this binding system in anything if you want but with the craft text it's really nice because when you stitch it like this thing is not going anywhere when it's stitched it is not going anywhere so it makes it really really super strong for your you know for your projects but a lot of people don't like to stitch so I'm going to give you an option so what you're going to do is you're going to line up your score mark or your pen mark on your strip and um, you're going to you're going to put it in your sewing machine and you're just going to stitch along that edge. OK, and then that's what gives you a signature. But what I, what you can also do and Darcy loves this part because you can use your tiny attacher or a stapler. Tiny attacher. And you line up, you can line up and alert. you can exactly <laughs> tiny attacher, <laughs> tiny attacher alert. You're going to line it up. And then you're just going to come in with the tiny attacher. And just take it on the score line, I don't know if you can see this, and just staple it. And this always reminds me of the Jack Johnson song, <laughs> which I love. That staple it together song, I love Jack Johnson music at the beach. So, anyway, so just go down. Oh, it would be nice if I actually had staples in my... That's why I have a backup tiny attacher. This is the Italy one. So just go down, and again, that will be really strong in, with the Tyvek. That's not going to, I mean, not with the Tyvek, but with the uh, Craft Hex. So if you're going to do this out of paper, I highly recommend backing it <clears throat> with a Tyvek or canvas if you want, sticky back canvas. So again, just going to come in here. And either stitch with your machine or just use your tiny attacher. I staple everything. So line up your line up your marks with your score lo, score mark. Come in. And I'm putting four. Okay? So that's your option. If you don't have a sewing machine, the other thing you can do is you could use your, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could use, and you have this ruler that has the piercing holes in it. You could go down and you could pierce your holes and then you could always hand stitch it. So those are your options. Okay, Jean, you hate staples on projects, but that, you know, I'm just giving you three options. So you can hand stitch if you want, if you don't have a sewing machine. So, okay, so it just depends on how much time you want to spend and uh, what kind of end product you like when you're making your albums. Cute. Oh, 
Okay, so any questions about that? What size corner rounder did you use on the corners? Half inch. Okay, half inch. Hey, Paper, how are ya? Hey, Janie. Do you want to know if those pieces are, oh, go ahead and talk about how wide those. Oh, these are one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch. So you'll have three quarter of an inch uh, tab. Okay, scrap and share. I won't announce that. I know. I didn't either. She'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> you can take us with you if you're on a laptop. Yeah, and right job. So <laughs> it's one and a quarter. So you have a three-quarter inch tab, and the and the base on it's three three inches. But you can again make it. I, I like the three quarter inch. When I did it, I thought an inch was too much inside. It kind of bulked it. And then that's why I went down to the three quarter inch. So, so anyway, so strip it and stitch it. There you go. Strip and stitch, baby. Strip and stitch. Okay, so I moved ahead because for time reasons today, I didn't have you here forever. And also because I couldn't videotape my my, uh, I don't have a hot sun like Barb does, so, uh, who's a techie? You have hot daughters, though. You have I, hot daughters. I do have hot daughters. <laughs> but, uh, so, I don't, have a hot, I don't have a hot techie sun like Barb has, so I couldn't set up my sewing machine where you could actually watch me sewing the zipper in. But you don't have to do, you don't have to stitch your zipper in if you don't want to stitch it in. You can just use this quick grip. The quick grip, or you could use E6000, any kind of liquid glue that would hold, you know, I, I recommend the quick grip. I really like how it works. But I went ahead just to mess around because I want to mess around with my uh, sewing machine and the craft text. So I ended up stitching in um, the zipper on the bag. That's funny. So, okay. If you have a question for me, please do a Q and a capital Q and a colon where they're next to each other. So, and then it'll come up blue and that way I can see because I'm because my chat's about a foot above my head and about three feet away. So it'll help me. Yes, I'm finding that out, just me, Katie, uh, that it's good for sewing. However, if you make a mistake, it is not forgiving. So you will, the holes stay. The other thing, too, that's difficult working with the craft text is that you cannot pin it in place like you would a fabric. You have to actually use clamps. So I did have clamps out for this when I did the stitching. But I can show you um, how to do it really quick. How I did it. You going? KT, are you going to a steampunk soiree? I haven't even started my costume. I probably shouldn't say that, huh? <laughs> I have all the pieces, but I haven't started it. So, okay, so I just had my, I just, I'm like, I just had my cutter. Okay, so what we're going to do is, what I did for this project was I took the craft text and I cut it. I'm using a 24-inch zipper. And, yes, you can find them at just, Joann's had 24-inch zippers. And the one that I ended up using, which I had a little project for, product for, was the all, just an all-purpose polyester. It was like $2.39 or something like that and um 24 inch and 61 inch centimeter in a uh, white my black one it comes in different color it comes in all different kinds of colors so on here the sewing instructions you can't really use them because you can't uh hand stitch unless you poke and you can't like really they don't you if you pin you can't get those holes back out so you have to use clamps sorry for my arm reach clamps. so Exactly. So, <laughs> I know, right? So, I just use these little, you can use any kind of clip or clamp to hold your project. So, what that I ended up. Funny that day, Donna, when she's like, Don't you have any clamps? Because I'm sitting here holding these two pieces together, like for 20 minutes, going, 
okay, this isn't working. <laughs> and she's like, you don't have clamps? I was like, nope. So she sent me some. Everybody needs some clamps. So she, Everybody had clamps. She's like, everybody has clamps. <laughs> I was like, I think so. <laughs> everybody has clamps so, somewhere. And then she got, look at her. She's got matching clamps to match her duct tape. There you go. That was not on purpose. <laughs> so... <laughs> Every every good every uh, smart girl yeah. coordinates her scrapbooking supplies. Oh my goodness! Okay, oh, that would be a good way for me to de-stash. I'll just take out anything that doesn't match. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can use yes binder any kind of clip clamp anything that'll clip it. Binder clips will work fine. Yeah, binder clips would work. Yep. So um. Yes. Okay. Good. Good, Katie. Okay. So what you're gonna do is I had two strips for that for this project. It was they were 20, um, 28 inches. No. What? I, let me let me get my paper out. Yeah. I used uh, 26 inch and then a two inch on either side. So that's 30 inches. 30 inch strips of the craft text, and they're two inches wide so what you're going to do is you make two of them all right so you got two two inch strips now this isn't two inches but it's a little off this side's two inches but you're going to take your two two strips and you can even my i ended up using um to hold mine which was really interesting i decided i was going to test it see if it gummed up my sewing machine and it didn't there's this product product called zip dry and what i did was i took the zip dry and i ran it down the edge of the paper and I glued actually pre-glued in spots the zipper to the craft text and then I ran it through my sewing machine I don't recommend that unless <laughs> I mean but it, she told you it in great detail so that you will never do it yourself I'm not recommending it it did work for me but it didn't gum up my sewing machine that I know of yet nice. but I also don't have like a Bernina I have like a cheap Actually, it was a twenty-seven dollar, twenty-seven dollar sewing machine. I so, even said to use Wonder Under because it'll hold the craft text, and then you can sew. There you go. Okay. Iron on, and then iron yeah. on Wonder Under, and then it'll that, hold. JJ knows that doesn't happen in this household. The iron situation. Janet, nice to see you. I try to avoid my iron at all costs. But anyway, it's not necessary. It really isn't. Because you can just take this and clip it to the end of the zipper. Oh, I thought I had an extra zipper. Hang on one second. I might. I might yeah, take. the strip and stitch is a very forgiving binding. <laughs> she just likes saying that. And you know, you know what I think of every time I hear it is the bend and snap from that movie. Um, of course. Clue, from, um, clueless. The bend. And snap <laughs> from that movie Clue, Clueless, where she was the nail technician and she liked the UPS or the FedEx worker or whatever. This guy, I thought that was really was it was it that wasn't it Clueless? Oh no, it was um was what? Yeah, well, it no. was Legally Blonde. Oh, Legally, you're right, Legally Blonde. I forgot because I was watching Clueless the other day. Sorry, I'm getting my extra zippers out so I can show this. The really cool thing about there's all kinds of neat zippers out right now because they're doing a lot of the exposed zippers and clothing, you know. So I found this really cute zipper it has rhinestones on it. Look how cute this is. This is a Hobby Lobby. So I have that. Anyway, okay, so I don't need this anymore. And what you're going to do is, <laughs> no comment, did you? <sighs> the bend and snap, is all you're going to do, and you have to kind of, okay, you have to open up your zipper before you start sewing. I did learn that. Now, I'm not a sewing expert. I'm just showing you what I know. This is not the proper way to put in a zipper in clothing. This is what I used just to make the bag, the bowling bag. Okay. Well, you do know how to sew a zipper in clothing because you I, used to make your own clothes. Yes, I did. So. Okay, so what you do is you clamp it at the top like that, and then you're going to have to email her after. 
<laughs> yeah, don't email me that I'm not putting this in. I just, I'm just saying that right up front. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, you're going to line up your uh, paper on the edge of the zipper. And you want to make sure that you don't sew so close that you can't get the zipper up because the zipper kind of hangs over a little bit. And you're just going to stitch along. When you get to a certain point, you can pull the zipper back up to the top again and then go back and continue to stitch, okay? And then you get this. You'll get this for your zipper. Kylie wants you to know that you should use your zipper foot, people who are doing this. Um, I don't have a zipper foot, and mine worked fine, so you don't necessarily have to use a zipper foot. I, because this is wide enough, I didn't need to use a zipper foot. I just stitched along. So if you have a zipper foot, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. If you don't even have a sewing machine, you don't even have to stitch it. You can glue it, and it stays fine using the quick grip. Okay? So, or you could use Fabri-Tac, but I really like that quick grip. I was like really impressed with it as far as it uh, holding up. But I stitched because I figure I'm going to use mine. I will use mine a lot. It made it really. So once you've, once you've done that one side, you're going to end up doing the same. Now on a normal zipper, you'd be like stitching up here. And then after you got down to this end, you'd be like stitching down here, but you don't have to do that. You just have to run it down both sides of the zippers and then leave it. And you're going to have a two inch overhang on either side, which you want to have. Okay. You don't want to even, you need that two extra inch um, overhang on the ends of your bag. So, so now you have, now what I did was I ended, uh, before I stitched it, I went down and I did a half an inch a line. And a score line, I scored it, I folded it over, okay? And then what you're going to do, because that's what's going to attach to the side. So I used the pattern, which Darcy's going to put up for the bowling bag, and I cut it out of the craft text. And um, made, this is the side of the bowling bag, okay? And you, because it's going around the corner, you need to make the adjust, you need to have the adjustment. So what I did was I kind of made my cuts as I went along. And so when I hit the corner, I just kind of took my scissor and cut up. And that's why you need, it's good to have that uh, score mark. Was it already folded at a half an inch? Because that way you can cut right up to it, not going over it. And you'll have a nice, even half inch all the way around your bag. But see, if you don't make that cut, then your corner... Like it doesn't make doesn't lay want to lay nice and it won't go around that bend. So you want to do the easement of the cuts. And I really feel like Barbara Barbara should be in here doing <laughs> doing the sewing bit. And I did on my first one. I did try to sew in the corner and it got frustrating because you could do it, but it what like it just was not forgiving at all. So. Um, if you're a good seamstress and you can do that, hey, I say go for it. But what I did was I ended up gluing the sides in because I figured the part that was really going to get used was going to be the zipper part. I've already sneak peek of what it's going to look like. <sighs> Decorated one side. Okay. Can you tell we're doing this? Today's is for a woman. The other one was for a guy. So this is a women's woman's bowling bag. Because I know there's women out there that bowl. Eileen bowls. Oh, she does? Okay, Eileen, you got to make this then. There you go. Eileen, Eileen could go do that archaeological dig and get out her high school bowling team pictures. Archaeological dig. Yeah. Well, you know how you got to go trying to find your old pictures. Oh kid okay so I'm just going to the cool thing is on the second one you can already see where your corner is going to be so you can go in and you're just going to snip that corner out okay so you just kind of want to go around and snip your corner and then that then see how it'll lay event when you glue it down it's going to lay nice and make that nice corner so you want to do that on all 
the areas where it bends. So on the bag, there's four. Just gonna go in and kind of snip it and it'll give you that easement. Mom's probably freaking out right now because my mother was a excellent seamstress. But anyway, this is how it goes. So you have that corner and then I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna do this one. Anyway, mom, that's how it goes. <laughs> anyway, mom, just, you know. Deep breath. Yep, deep, deep breath. Mom. Barb, I'm using sharp scissors, but I am using smaller ones. These are my smallest scissors. I don't have like sewing scissors that are sharp, so. <laughs> she was so cute yesterday. She's like, whenever you sew, you need to use small scissors. I'm like, you do? Oh my goodness, because all week I've been using these. I didn't know that. I didn't I know. know. Look at I these. I've been using my seven inch, my big Muhammad Jamas tonic scissors. I have scissors. not watched that recording yet, but for those of you that might not know Barb, she has a Ustream show on Fridays called Creating Faces, and she's very, very talented. She does a lot with art journaling, and she's been doing some things with fabric, and uh, she makes really, really beautiful dolls. But that's not really what she does. She just does a whole variety of things. Hey, Zandra. Hey, Zandra. Speaking of talent. Zandra, we're using craft text. Ink. Exactly. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, we're just going to take this and we're going to lay it on top. Hey, and Ashley. You're going to glue it down to that side. Okay. So again, I'm using the quick grip. Hey, Dixie. Dixie. You guys all up? Have your coffee. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Um, whoop. I got a goober rolling already with this thing. Reach alert. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you are late. I'm like, what? I haven't reached like in 10 minutes. You have a really bad lag. I do. At least the chat's not lagging for you. You're basically gluing right now. I am. Right. I'm just going around and gluing. Okay. This side on. Ashley and Xandra, if you want to post your links, go ahead. They both have shows, and they're actually on the scrap -a design team as well, and they had a really great show last weekend. So go ahead and feel free to post that so people who are in here can see you. And they stream at night, which is great because I'm always walking. I'm walking when they're streaming, so I get to watch their show when I walk. It keeps me company. It's good, good inspiration. So all I'm doing is gluing the side on. That's it. Oh, and Jannie, Paper Compulsion, she's on the scrap a -Doo design team too. Forgot to say that. She did a good first effort. Oh, I loved her project. They had some great projects. Oh, here goes the typing. Sorry, I keep trying to mute. Oh, she just muted herself in mid-talk. <laughs> <laughs> I did. So, it dries up pretty, I mean, it dries, sets up pretty quick, so it's kind of nice. But see, this is what I was talking about. If you get it while it's still kind of wet, you can, um, it be, you know, rolls off like rubber cement. But oh, that's right. Thanks, Jean. And Jean streams on Mondays, usually at 4. That's her schedule time. But she tweets. Everyone will tweet and let you know what's going on. Hey, Pavla, how are you? Pavla! Good morning. Now you're sounding like Jim. <laughs> I'm yelling. I know. I feel like I have to yell because my computer is like three feet away from me. Hey, Rob's mom. Hi, Rob's yelling. mom. Good. Yelling's good. Yeah, John is streaming. I'm in chat. So our names match today. Yeah. Hey, Martha. <laughs> we are actually who we are today. Because when I stream, we have to switch names. 
But if you want to see what we're doing, I will post the blog. Hey, Charlie. Okay, Marilyn, you got it. So I'm just holding this just till it kind of sets up and then I'll move on. This is the part where it's like watching paint dry for you guys. And what you have to do is you got to kind of roll this off your fingers so it doesn't get on your project while you're working. open it. Sometimes it's easier to open it when you're doing this part. Also, I'd like to say a thank you to Laura Dennison too today because she has given us several shout outs about our show. She doesn't stream on this Saturday. She takes a break. So if you came over from following the paper trails, we want to say hi and thanks to Laura. She's making a really beautiful fairy house right now. It has little fairy furniture and everything in it. Oh, I know. I went over there and saw it. So cute. It's gorgeous. Hi, Rob's mom. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm Jonna. <laughs> I'm the one doing the project. So it's my hands, you see. Darcy, Darcy's typing. It's her typing that you'll hear. <laughs> okay. So just like go, you're going to go around the edge and just continue to glue it down. But yeah, see how it is, it, I agree, Zandra. It is really cute. This part is the tedious part, and then the rest of it's fun, in my opinion. <laughs> I think everything's tedious, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, Darcy. <laughs> well, I do. I have a lower tedium threshold than you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Tedium? Is that a word? Tedium, yes. It is? I got to Google. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Tedium threshold. <laughs> you never know what new words you're going to learn when you come here. Apoplectic. <laughs> T tedium. There were no B-U-T-T-O-Ns used in this project, so I don't have to worry about how I say that word. Yeah, and my numbing, Sherry. Tedium is... The state of being tedious. Well, I kind of figured that. <laughs> Synonyms are monotony, boredom, ennui, uniformity, routine, dreariness. Okay, I'll stop there. That sounds really bad. <laughs> but yeah, tedious and mind-numbing to put that strip around. And then once you're done, yay! Now, Jonna, did Oops. you... Decorate, you decorated your flat pieces purse though, didn't you? I only did that one side just because for time, time purposes, I went ahead and did one side of the project because. Yeah, wouldn't that be easier to do that first or no? It doesn't matter. Okay. It's just glued on. Because it lies, it would lie flat. Oh, Marilyn, that's great. So, um, Marilyn, Darcy's she work Laura's is... Projects. What? I was just saying, Marilyn said she loves Laura's projects, too. She put up two new shelves, and they hold all of her birdhouses. 
Okay, is S K A J U D E Jude? Is your name Ska or Jude? Ska Judy. How do I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I end up like ruining people's names. I wonder where some people come up with their names in in places. And if you don't want me calling you anything, you know. Yeah, I um, can call you Hey Jude. I'm posting. We have the we have the the little cut out. Like you can cut out these pattern pieces. We'll post that. Thank you, Pablo, for putting up the definition of tedium. <laughs> It's never too early. Vicky! Hey, Midnight Scrapper. Good morning. Good morning. We are up early. Is anybody crafting this early? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably not even out of your pajamas. I actually am. I'm out of my pajamas, but I'm getting ready for my second cup of coffee. There I got go. my craft text, though. Yay! Okay, so here we are. We're done with that. My bowling bag is going to have an animal print on it. I'm pretty sure. In some in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> and then you just want to come and just glue that edge. Hey Judy. Edge down. Oh, good for you. I'll scrap info. Oh no! It's see. Does that happen to other people, or just goobs out? That's the yeah. issue. That, I it know happened, it happened to me. I was I was working with some on something with that, and it does that. Yep. It bothers me when it does that because I'm like, it's wasting. It's wasting. It's wasting it. Anyway, I think it's because I'm not squeezing from the bottom. I'm squeezing in the middle, like, which is really funny because I don't do that with my toothpaste. FYI. Wow. <laughs> everyone's, wor everyone's working on different things. That's good. I'm glad we can keep you company. Yes. Okay. So there we go. That's dry. Now what we're going to do, okay, you can go ahead and now this is depending on the next step, depending on whether you are going to put elastic on the inside or not. <laughs> Jonna, the advice is that you need to squeeze the tube from the bottom. Yes, I know. <laughs> I knew that was going to come. That is so cute. Look at that. So, okay, so the um the the next step, whether you de you can whether you're going to do elastic or not. I'm going to add some elastic to this one. So, what I want to do before I decorate the one side is I want to go ahead and put my elastic in. Mm -hmm. And okay, I had my elastic already cut. There it is. Okay, so I'm using two pieces. And you can, I didn't do this in my bowling bag, the first one. And then Darcy had this idea. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add this part after you line it. So I did, I cut one of my linings and all I did was I cut the bowling bag again. The bowling bag template, which Darcy's working on. And what you have, oh that's for the other side. And what you have to do is you're going to cut it and then put it in there because um, depending on how you glue, like how accurate you are with your, you know, your gluing, you may end up having to trim. So uh, I'm just, I can see right now I'm going to have to trim in a corner. Well, maybe, yeah, just a tad. I'm not using my pen, I'm just using the pen edge to go in there and kind of mark where I need to trim. It kind of creates a little score line. And I'm just going to, on the score line, I'm going to just trim so it fits inside my bag. I am recording, and so if you miss the binding, the strip and stitch binding, you can go back and watch it. I'll probably just do a highlight of that, too, and put it up on on uh, our YouTube channel. Okay, so, like that. And all I'm going to do with this, I'm going to glue this down, too. And 
<laughs> gonna glue. Okay, I'm gonna try to squeeze from. I always start out trying to squeeze from the end, and then somehow I end up squeezing. For all the new people that came in, if you need to talk to me specifically, you can just put it as a a um, Q, capital Q with a colon, and then it'll come up blue on my screen so I can see. Oh no, C, 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 C. It is goobering. Still, even though I squeezed, from the center. Stop! Stop coming out! Stop coming out! I think it's worse when you squeeze from the bottom. Maybe that's why I started squeezing from the center. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna really, you gotta move quick with this because it's, that's why they call it quick dry. Okay, so shove it in there. And put that down. Okay, this line I'm using for this this paper. I mean, uh, this project, today's project. The other one was called like my craft mat. Oh, this. Oh, <laughs> this is duct tape. I did it for Eileen because I know how much she loves flamingos. Okay. Thank you, Rob's mom. Um, it's just Duck Brands. They're new. It's a new duct tape. They were doing a free give uh, giveaway contest online. Anyway, it's just duct tape done down. I just liked it. The flamingos. Okay, so... Um, I might as well put the other side down while I'm at it, right? I was going to show you how to do the elastic. So here we go. I'm not going to squeeze after. See, it just comes out just holding it. It's still oozing. I'm not even squeezing. I'm not squeezing. It's just coming out. I really like it, too, because it, be, it balls up and comes off your hands really easy. Okay, I am not squeezing this thing. I'm not squeezing. All I'm doing is it just opened and it's still coming out. <laughs> it's still coming out. But anyway, other than that, it's an awesome glue. You just need to find a different way. Why they have to put it in a metal tube, I have no idea. No, maybe because it doesn't glue to the metal. It won't stick to metal. I don't know. It is a goober flow glue um hot glue gun okay the deal with the hot glue gun is it does it peels off so it doesn't stick I wasn't really happy with the hot using the hot glue with it yeah gravity so I wasn't really happy with using the hot glue gun with the um craft text too much after a period of time it lifted so um you know it would pull apart this does not it's so this stuff actually soaks in to and actually makes it tougher so i that's why i'm kind of why i like it it makes it actually tougher because i think because it's rubbery but it actually oh her skype went poof i thought she just silenced me Sorry for the arm reach. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can get her back. Um, call. Speaker. Hello. Oh, I didn't even know that it went out. It did. It went out, and your picture's going out. But just for me, everybody else seems to be fine. So. What do you mean my picture is going out? 
I don't see the video. It's cutting. It's going out in and out. But everybody else is fine. So it's just me. Okay. It's just my end here. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to make an X, okay? And then um, you can take brads and attach them. And you'll have elastic there to slip a gift card or a, uh, a bag of popcorn or whatever you want to put your keepsakes. And I had brads and I moved them uh, BRB. that nice nice uh size i know i'm trying to make adjustments to my modem and web hub whatever wireless thing to see if that helps my video my video keeps cutting out chinese 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 what <laughs> it sounds like when you talk, start talking like technical that's what it sounds like to me because I don't speak, or it could be, I had I to laugh, I have to go out and come back in, I'm going out and coming back in, okay, I had to laugh, because yesterday in Barb's stream, Dee Dee was, they were talking about, um, different measurements and stuff like that, because she was sewing, and Dee Dee's like, okay, I have now gone totally, like, in a fog, I'm in a fog, I glazed over, I thought that was so funny, I was laughing so hard, she's like, I've, I've glazed over, Okay, I need a pokey tool. I'm glad. <laughs> I had to. Oh gosh, it was really funny. So I'm just gonna center it because I know where my deck. I know where my decoration's gonna hit. So I'm just going to um, poke some holes with my pokey tool. Watching your fingers because that is a very sharp object. I don't recommend running with it. No running. Yeah, that's how I broke my last one. I was You were running with it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's how I broke it, I said. <laughs> I know. I heard you. Okay, so. Sherry said, said you should uh, Sherry said you should give that to her because it's pink and black. Mm. Okay, Sherry. Or Sherry, you could make one. She could. <laughs> She's talented like that. I saw your armoire you made for your Prima dolls. It was so cute. I want to make sure because I've got my decoration. I kind of know where it hits, but I'm just going to. And you can decorate the front of these. I did mine. I did. I, I found a couple of ones that I really liked vintage bowling bags. And so I just kind of went from there. So the man one is a different, the man one, the man bag. The bowling bag that I did this one in, I did like three, three like heartbeat stripes. I put the plaid at the top and then I added the little bowling pin. And this one, I really liked the diamond look. So I'm just going to kind of position, make sure that's positioned. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Donna, they want to know if you sewed 
the bag with a sewing machine or is it assembled only with glue? So the bag itself you no. did with glue, right? What did this this part where I put this down, I just glued it. The zipper, if you go back and watch, I give you different options, but the zipper I stitched in uh, just because I'm going to, you know, use it a lot. It'll get more wear and tear, and I like the look of the zipper. On my first bag that I did, I did, do, I did actually sew it on there, but when I made a mistake, like if I didn't sew exactly around, like at the, you know, three-eighths inch mark, then what happened was you would see like the stitch got off a little bit. And I just, <clears throat> I didn't like that look. So, um, I didn't end up stitching in the, my final project. I didn't end up stitching the bag. So, but if, if you trust yourself and you don't mind if your stitches go off, then that's a different story. But it bothered me, so I didn't end up stitching. I glued. And when I used this quick grip, and I tried several different ones. I tried the hot glue. It peeled. I tried, um, I didn't really care for the glossy accent because you had to hold it too long. And anyway, so I tried several different adhesives. The three in one, I didn't, it took too long. You had to sit there and hold it too long. And I just really ended up liking using that. And uh, Quick Grips by Beacon. It's by the same people that make the three in one and the fabric tack. Quick grab, quick dry, water and weatherproof, flexible and paintable. Dries crystal clear. Being careful not to I want to kind of hold the elastic a little taut, but I don't want to stab my finger. And I'm not going through just the paper because um, I don't think it'll hold. I wanted to go through the craft text. I think it's going to be sturdier going through to the front and then once you add your decoration you won't see the back of the brass anyway. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to, I would take some fray check to the end of my elastic. Um, I don't, it's in my other room so I don't have it but I'll hit it with a little paintbrush just so the ends of the elastic won't fray. It keeps it from fraying. It's a product called Fray Check. You can get it at fabric stores or online. So I'll go back and I'll hit that and that way it'll even hold it even better. So I've got my little X marks the spot and you can just, you can tuck in, you know, ephemera or a gift card for somebody special or you could do, you could even put one in the front and one in the back. Darcy liked that idea because she you could put Especially for a guy, you could put like game tickets and a, or a movie tickets and a bag of popcorn, you know, microwave popcorn or something. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's where we are right now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and come back to the front or the back or whatever, the side. And we're going to go ahead and put down the decoration, okay? Now these I ended up stitching. I did take my sewing machine and I went around and I did stitch the little uh, diamond. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. Um, no, it doesn't smell. Let me see. Mm, has a very light smell, but nothing like E6000 very light smell but I don't recommend sitting here sniffing it using a well-ventilated area avoid prolonged breathing of vapors yeah so don't sniff it <laughs> you shouldn't sniff blue anyway <laughs> didn't go poof. I was um, typing I'm still having problems with the video so I will use my psychic powers okay so I'm just gonna um, 
lightly tack the corners down so I can set the whole thing down. Oh no, here we go with the goober. See, even with gravity, Beacon, come out with a new, come out with a new deal. <laughs> even with gravity, it still wants to come out. Okay, I gotta work quick. You know, you could use like a, a skewer or a toothpick or something. Yes, that's true. That's a good idea. put this on the wrong side. I tried using that stuff that we got at CHA, mm -hmm. the eco-friendly made from recycled styrofoam, remember? Yes. Because I just love that idea. Um, and I'm not, I live in a high humidity state and everything I used it on fell apart. Oh no. So... Um, I don't That's recommend it. I know I don't recommend it. I didn't recommend it. That's why I'm not even going to mention the name. Because it may just be where I live and not have anything to do with the yeah. adhesive itself. But I was so excited that it was, like, good for the environment. It was non-toxic. Like, literally, like, I think you could actually, like, you know... Yeah, you didn't have to worry about any of that. They made like a school glue. They made a everyday glue. They made a paste, and I was like really excited. And the guy gave it from gave it to me to try, and then it didn't didn't hold up at all. Okay, I got to get the glue off my fingers so I don't get my project dirty. Okay, so, oh, that's good. Hmm. Okay. Uh, to be honest with you, I think there's warnings on everything because of the issues with people, lawsuits and stuff. Let me look. I really think that there's like, um, I don't know if anybody else has noticed. There's like really weird warnings on all kinds of stuff now. And it's like, who would even think to do that? Like, why would you even want to drink glue? I mean, <laughs> like seriously. But anyway. Okay, so that's done. And Jonathan, then, yes, ma'am. Jonathan, Jonathan still teases me about the time that I picked up a can of corn. We were making dinner and I said, now, how do you make this? And I turn the can over, and she's like, Darcy, you don't know how to make canned corn? <laughs> and I said, well, there, look, there are directions on here. <laughs> I, I was freaking out that they put directions on a can of corn. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, for people like me. Recycled styrofoam, ideal for scrapbooking, school projects, and other arts and crafts worth saving. Dries clear, dries flat, adjustable, smells great. Now it does smell, it smells really good. Uh, the multi-purpose adhesive made from recycled styrofoam. 
Each year, Americans throw away 25 billion styrofoam cups. Now, this is what they allege. I haven't done the study myself, so don't email me, as Deezy says. Uh, let's see. Um, even 500 years from now, those cups will be sitting in our local landfills. Their source is from the U.S. EPA. This product, the only sustainable glue in stores today, this craft paste saves the environment, made from recycled styrofoam and all natural ingredients. It eliminates truckloads of waste from our local landfills. Less waste equals a healthier earth. Plus, this glue is strong, ready for the toughest everyday project. And then it gives you the directions on how to use it. Made in the USA, and it is, let's see, uh, non-toxic craft paste. That's what it says. Wow. It smells, well, I mean, people smells can try really it good. in their environment and see. It smells like um, lemony lime, lemon and lime in the coconut. No coconut. <laughs> but it does have a nice smell. Okay. Yeah, you could just try it in your area. Um, I'm looking for my other, here it is, little cat cutout. Which will have these little stencils that you can... Um, Download. Are you putting those on the blog too? Yep. The paper piecing stencils? Yes. Okay. So if you want, this is what I ended up using on the other bag, and then um, these are some pockets and tags that are in it, and then this is what I used on the girl bag. So you'll have these. The non toxic glue? Wait a minute, I need to back up a little bit. Oh, I can't back up. <laughs> Darcy. <laughs> well, that's true. Oh, my goodness. So. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, you're welcome, Martha. I'm trying to multitask and get it done at the same time as this. I'm not doing very well, so it'll probably go up this afternoon. But check. If you check by tonight, you'll be able to get it. I did it in black, too, in case any of you have, like, um, scan and cuts. So you'll be able to um, scan it and cut it out. Okay, so I need um, some glue. I'm just going to use zip dry. Hey, Satin. Hey, Satin. Good morning. I have, I'm trying not to be too loud because I know some of you are just waking up. This is your morning wake up call. Thank goodness. Wake up! <laughs> of course, if you're in the UK, you've been awake. Hopefully. And I had some of this rind. Sorry, the reach. Well, I said I had it. Oh, no. Hmm? Nothing. It just went poof. Oh, what time is it? We're at an hour and a half. I need to do a giveaway. While that's drying, I'm going to do a giveaway. And then I'm going to go grab something, some coffee, and I will be right back. I'm going to put together a little, um, I'm doing a little goodie bag, and JJ and I, 
JJ and I were out together. Um, there's a video up there. And she, where's the stuff I was going to give away? I just had it. And she um, wanted to donate to the giveaway this morning. I don't know if JJ's still in here. JJ, did you even go back to bed? Yeah, we're not talking about that this morning. Not well. Moving on. Okay, so <laughs> moving on. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, we're doing a little giveaway. So she donated some stuff. She donated a Spectrum Noir marker. It's DR4 and a glue stick, photo glue stick, acid free, special photos, safe formula. And I am donating an arm from Brad Pitt. No, <laughs> a finger, a yeah, Brad Pitt finger. It's a Pitt artist pen for you guys to try. The bit, it's a big brush, the Faber Castell, and a pretty summer color of oops of aqua so it's a big brush um i don't know what color this is 154 number 154 so you could try out those markers see how you like them and then i'm also going to throw in um a couple other little goodies in the bag that i left in the other room so you'll just have to be surprised yes oh my gosh okay so I started my uh, Brad Pitt collage box, but this is as far as I've gone. <laughs> this is as far as I've gotten. I've started to um, collage my Brad Pitt box, my Brad Pitt pens. So I've got two pictures so far. I've got to download a few more, cut out a couple of more. These came out of a magazine. So, but anyway, yeah. So I'm starting to do my decorate my Brad Pitt pen box okay so let me get my um, let me get my bingo cage Darcy you want to write the rules down for the for the game because I know there's a lag we know there's a lag um, so I'm going to wait until y'all hear this, but Darcy will type in, so it'll show up in blue. You'll see the word go when she types it in and she'll type in stop and you're going to pick a number between one and 63 and the first number, JJ, you're not going to want to play for this because you'll win your prize bet. You'll, you'll win your you win your pr prize back, unless you want your prize back. Um, so if you want to, uh, okay. So anyway, so pick a number between one sixty-three. If you with if you pick the number, you're the first one to guess that number, and you don't go over, then you will win the prize. But wait for Darcy to type in go, unless I lost her on Skype. Is she here? That's so funny, JJ. <laughs> Darcy, did I lose you? I think I lost her. Let me see. Oh, I did. Ah, uh, let me try. Connor again. Sorry for the arm reach. Uh oh, I like really lost her. Hmm. Hello? Nope. It's failing. I know, right? Yeah, but I'm recording. We've been on, really, we haven't, we didn't do the project. It's only been like an hour and 17 minutes, Sharon. Um, 
oh no, an hour and 37 minutes. So not quite two. I've been on two, but we kind of chit chatted in the beginning and I didn't record it. Oh no, she's lost her internet totally. That's terrible. Uh, okay, well, let me give her a minute to see if she comes back in the chat. Um, okay, so before I do the drawing, because I'll wait for her. Whoops. I'm going to um, go heat up some coffee. So grab your coffee and some, I forgot, and I need to flip my camera, but I can't, it's a whole other issue, which I talked about earlier about this camera. So, okay, so I'm going to be right back. She'll come back. Go get a cup of coffee. Give me like a minute. Got my cord running. Did she come back into the room yet? Huh. Let me try Skyping again. Well, her Skype's not going to work because she's, yeah, something happened to her computer. I could try calling her on her phone. Hang on one second. Oops. Hmm.
I'm trying to call her on her phone. Oh, you had to reboot. Okay. Maybe it's your, um, maybe it's your, when you run Skype and this, you think that's it? I know. I have my coffee too, Ashley. Oh, I just made, um, hazelnut. It tastes very good this morning. Me so happy. Okay. Should I try calling you, Darcy, or what? I know she has a lag, so I'll wait. Espresso. JJ sounds like an event. I put on the kettle for some tea. Sounds like a great caramel vanilla. Sounds like an event. Okay. I don't know if I should try Skyping you or if I should call you because you're not answering me. I'll try Skyping again. Okay, you're back. But I don't know what's going on. I know it's on my machine, but I had to completely reboot. So hopefully this will be this will be it. Okay, let's do the drawing before you go poof again. I know. Did you do the drawing without me? No, I didn't do the drawing without you because I know you would have been bombed. No, you would have been bombed because I have to watch the chat. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're playing bingo. Okay, so um, when Darcy types in go, then, and she'll be in blue, she's the only moderator, so when she types in in blue, then you will um, put in a number from 1 to 63 without going over, and then she'll type in stop and pause the chat so don't freak out. And, uh, and Nobody then out. we'll announce it. Well, I mean, some people do. They're like, how come the chat's not moving? I can't chat. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'm going to give it a second here so that if people have a lag, they have a minute to listen to your instructions. Okay. And so what are your instructions? Number between? 1 and 63 without going over. Without going over, closest one gets... The goodie bag, right? Yep, this is a goodie bag. It's I've got three things I showed, but I'm gonna put throw in some more stuff. Well, yeah, but it has to be a surprise. Yeah, it'll be a surprise, surprise, surprise. Remember okay. that? I love that show, Gomer Pile. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Whoa. That was good, though. I gave everybody some time. That worked. Yay. Although there is a lag with the 54321. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they heard me say five. <laughs> Four. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Hi, Anne-Marie. I'm saying hi to people because I haven't said hi yet. Okay. Hi, Joy. I know you're out there. Hello. Charlotte Brown. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay, uh, Zandra ended up sending me, um, she said that she is going to be finishing up her project. Well, she, now i got to do an arm reach again because I forgot. I already forgot what she told me. Uh, oh, okay. She didn't tell me when. Xandra, you can put it in the chat. I don't know uh, if you want to put in the day you're going to do finish up your project. Uh, 
can wait until we're done with this, and then she can put it in. Yeah. Okay, okay. so she hit stop. Okay, I don't even know how to pause. Pause. <laughs> okay, do you have a number? Oh, Vicky ended up getting cut off, and she missed it. Bummer, Vicky. That's okay. We're going to have other ones. We're going to have other ones. I don't have a number yet. Woo. And the number is... On a winning streak lately, too. I-29. I-29. 29. 29. You don't have to put the I in. You just have to have a 29. 29! Oh, not that Martha. Looks like the first one that got 29. Yay, Martha! Hey, somebody, Martha. Somebody check. Please help me. Some of you were close. Wow. But she looks like... I'm going to put that number back in. She looks like a winner. She looks like a winner. Yeah. Hey, Martha. <laughs> Not that Martha won. Okay, I'm yay! Woohoo! I need my non-noise blower horn. Oh. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, so Martha, just give me your um not that Martha, do the uh just send me an email. I'll give her the um your Addy. two other prizes coming up, so. Yay! We love prizes. Yeah, just send an email to um, campersisters at gmail.com Also, just to let you know, we do not use those names and addresses other than to send giveaways and things like that. And we don't give them out. No, we don't give them out. Not even to people that know you. Nope. Okay, so um, I can see I already forgot to do something. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my tabs on. Okay, well, I'm going to show you how to make the handles. And this is also in the pattern. And the pattern, Darcy's getting it up on the website right now. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? You got really far when I lost the video. So, oh. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how to make one. One I have done already, just for time purposes. And then the other, now this I used a hot glue gun on. And the really cool thing about hot glue right now is it comes in different colors. So for my black handle, I used the black hot glue gun sticks. So it kind of matched the black pleather. And all I did was use like pleather, fake leather. You, if you want to cut leather, you can use real leather if you want. But I just got it. Faux leather. Pleather. Yep, pleather. Uh, it comes on the bolt. And it is in the, you know, fabric store or whatever. Or you could just cut up an old purse or whatever. You guys probably have it laying around your craft room. You could also, I didn't use the craft text on this part, but I bet you you could. I, I just didn't want to, um, I just like the look of the leather. I really liked it. You know what else, Jonna? You could probably use that vinyl stuff that they use in the silhouette too, right? I don't have a silhouette, so I don't know. No, but I mean, you have a cricket. You use it in the cricket, don't you? No, I've never used it. Oh, Scrap and Dabba Doo is going to be on tonight at 8. Xandra, is that your show? Or is that everybody? Is that you? Xandra is making the most awesome mini album. It has, she put like a whole train front in it. Oh, I know. I saw, I saw it. It's all steampunk. It's so. adorable. So you want to take, um, after you cut out the pattern, Okay, you want to take three and a half inch. This is three quarter inch. It, I call it cording. 
the oh, Joe. Okay. Scrap and have do eight o'clock. What's that? That'd be central, right? Nine Eastern. Okay. Are we done with the infomercial? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Just want people to know. Uh. Yes. I got some glitter glue sticks in um, Italy. Oh, that's right. I wonder where those are. I forgot. Okay, I gotta wait for my hot glue gun to heat up real quick. Ugh. Hey, Angel Buck. Cheryl! Oh my gosh, I haven't seen Cheryl in like forever. Yay! Oh, sorry. Well, sit back, relax. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the flight. Oh, cool. Marilyn found glitter glue sticks at Walmart. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay, so while I'm waiting. Okay, so in the pattern, there's also what the... What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up. I forgot to plug it in. Oh, okay, because I'm thinking we're all waiting. I know. <laughs> I'm, I apologize for the wait. Well, we're all waiting. Okay, the other thing that you're going to, you need to pick up is, or, and I'll give you some options of what you can use, but our D-rings, Dritz makes them, they come in four, you get four in a pack, and you need four of them to attach your handle on, but you could also, if you have these, they're um, binding rings, you can also use these, and what you would do is put it through, okay, where it meets. So when you attach it, you would cover over um, where it hinges and where it where it meets. You understand? Like where it clips. So that way when you close it, when you cover it, you can't even tell that that was one of those binding rings. Oh, that's cool. Aw, thanks, JJ. So, yeah, so that's your, you can have that. You can use that as an op option for that part. And then you're going to need, we need to put the feet on before we put the binding in. And these are by Everything Mary. They're called purse feet. They're actual brads. And they come in two different styles. I like the cone style because I thought it was more mid-century. So I went with the cone style. But if you don't have those and you want to add a little um, thing to the bot, you know, a little zhuzh to the bottom of your bag, uh, you can also use these bigger, um, I called them conchos. I don't know actually what they're ca actual called. Do you know what these things are called with the prongs? I have a Mr. Lag stash. They're like um, bedazzler, <laughs> bedazzler thingies. So. Um, Marilyn, Rob's mom said E6000 will seal those binding rings forever so that you don't have to worry about them coming undone. So I bet the quick grip will too. So I thought that was a good idea. Yes. That's true, Katie. Yep, you can load up on them and get tons of them. They, they're great. Are they studs, Jonna? Um, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, like a stud. Mm-hmm. You know, and then it has, like, the little prongs underneath. So you can just poke those right in, and they make cute little feet. Like, you'll see these on the bottom of purses, too. And they come in all different sizes and colors. They look like upholstery brads. Yeah, these are actually, I can't even tell you how long I've had these things. I don't even know. But you can paint them and do different colors if you wanted to. They come in different colors. But you just poke them through, you know, you'll poke them through like we're going to poke through um, the feet. Show one close up. This is what the bottom looks like. You know who used to make these is, uh, I don't even know if they're in business anymore. What, remember Junkets? Yeah, they're probably 
not. And Scrapworks. That's who I was thinking of. Scrapworks used to make these things with the prongs. And you can get them in, like, rhinestones. And, yeah, it was Scrapworks. Hi, Matt Wife. So. Hi, Matt Wife. Good morning. Anyway. So I was just kind of going through my stash in case, you know, you didn't want to. I, I always try to encourage people to take stuff from their stash and make a, make adjustments instead of having to go out and buy something new for every little project. You can make the stuff that you have work and give you options and, you know, raid your office supplies and stuff like things that you may have laying around the house that give you the same look without having to go spend money to make a project because a lot of people have a lot of stuff sitting around and... You don't necessarily have to go and purchase everything when you can make other things work. Okay, because you're also not, this is another thing, because you're also not using the zipper for like clothing or anything like that, you could repurpose a zipper. You could go and go to like a thrift store and grab a zipper out of something else and you could buy a zipper for 50 cents, you know, um, you could, I know like my, uh, local thrift store, it's a chain. They actually have on, they actually have at the entrance, it's actually called the clearance center and they have a separate room that's full of bins and everything you can pack in a bag, it's a dollar. Everything you can pack in a, um, you know, a brown paper grocery shopping bag it's a dollar so you could go and get like um i'm trying to think of what would have like a long zipper in it um uh, like a piece of upholstery you know like a cushion you could just pull the zipper out of that because all you're going to do is cut the fabric off of it you know rip the fabric off and you're going to um just use the zipper as long as the zipper is functional you can pull it out off of something because you're not sewing yeah, that's a great one, Rob's mom. You could get a zipper off, a good metal zipper off an old coat. That'd be a long zipper. Anything you can get a long zipper off of. And then that way, um... Oh, hey, Chai! Um, and that way, it'll that'll save you money, too. You know... I know recycle centers are doing that with clothing where you can go to the recycle center and you can get clothing that you can repurpose, pull, pull, but I'm not saying take like a good piece of clothing that someone can actually use. I'm talking about these are things that people donate that have like tears and holes and things that can't be resold. Um, we are making right now. I can do a quick stop. We're doing this. We're making a, a vintage bowling bag album. And right now I'm going to show you how to put the handle on. But this is the bowling bag. And then it has the mini is attached. We already made the binding and, uh, and stitched, did the strip and stitch binding. And anyway, and it has some flips and some pockets and we'll get to that. Okay, so let's get back to the project and we'll work on the handle. I mean, I love buying new stuff as much as everybody else, but then you sit in your room and it's like depressing because you see, and that's why I really like watching, I've been enjoying watching um, and meeting her it was Joycey, the frugal eclectic, because she really makes you look at what you have in your stash in a whole new way. I really enjoy her show. I don't know if she's in here um, because she really makes you go through. And use your stash, I mean, she doesn't make you, but she goes through her stash, and she shows you how you can, she's actually working on recreating a kit for herself, um, using things from her stash, or creating it using stamps and stuff, and doing the background paper, and, oh, I'm again, because I'm going to get the link. okay, oh, thanks Cheryl. Yeah. Okay. So uh, she's working on Urban Market. That was the name of it. I was trying to think of the name of that line. I love Urban Markets. I do too. It's really cute. I love all 
Teresa Collins stuff. She's, yeah, that's Teresa Collins. She just so, has a really classic style. Because her background was interior decorating, so I like really like all her stuff. Okay, so um, here we go. So all you're yeah, gonna need be is be prepared. No, we need to we need to tell people be prepared because she uses very inventive things for stamps. <laughs> oh yes, she does use things. <laughs> she does <laughs> like she garlic does. butts and celery butts. And <laughs> <laughs> But her paper, if you ever get her papers, which I'll show on the next break, I'll go up and grab some because she has sent me stuff. Um, her, her paper is just so layered out and just so gorgeous. And it's so funny to see how she makes, how she creates her own background paper. But if you ever receive any of her, her things like a gift package or a rack from her, it's just her flowers that she comes up with are amazing. So... Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, really, really, really enjoy watching her. Okay, so yeah. let's get back because um, now no grocery store is safe around her. I can't. Make, <laughs> I can't make the handle. Huh? No okay. grocery store or fast food place is safe around her. <laughs> Joycey! Yes. Now we're talking about you. You woke up because we were talking about you. Only good things though. We only talk good things in here. <laughs> we woke her up. Okay, but I had to laugh because last night she tweeted, okay, Dar, Artie Dar, she's another one who's very talented. If you can, uh, she's not streaming currently right now because she's taking a little break for the summer. But when she comes back, go back, or you could go back and watch her videos. She's another one that's really talented, gifted artist. And she, uh, she's working, she's going to Steampunk Soiree. And Darcy and I are going, there's a couple other ladies that are going. But she's working on a fascinator. And so she, we were in the chat and we were talking and she was like, have you started working on it? It's going to take days. And I'm like, not mine. But anyway, um, maybe hers. But she, uh, so anyway, so then Joycey piped in and goes, oh, I, I, y'all are making me want to make one. And then the next thing I know, she goes, do you think I could put, gar what do you think about putting garlic clove butts on mine? Garlic butts on my fascinator. It'd be pretty interesting. I How could I ever forget Dweedy? And if I'm forgetting anybody, I don't mean to. It'll probably come out over the next few hours. Dweedy is my art hero. And she is right now, if you want color inspiration, watch her stream. She is coffee and art in the morning. And she right now is working on um, mind mapping, mind mapping. And I'm she, again. I hear that. And she's um, doing a thing right now where she's um, wow, mind, deal. mind mapping oh. out. Oh, I just saw Hobby Lobby. Oh no, is this a um? This is bad. Okay, I'm not looking. La 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 la. Why I have to do la 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 for not looking? I don't know. But anyway, I'm not looking. But anyway, she's doing like she's using her silhouette cutting out things and, with her silhouette, putting them, layering them down, using her watercolor, and she's doing little squares, and and then you look at the squares, and you come, like, what color, and the shape, and then she puts the shape down, and what that all kind of triggers, and, I mean, it's, like, beautiful, and she's putting it in a book right now, and I'm, like, You're jealous, and I would love to. I know, Dweedy. It doesn't work. That's why I'm trying not to look at the thing, man. You guys need to put in big, big lettering. Enable our alert so I don't, I look away. I don't yeah, need like to. Yeah, like to look away. <laughs> I don't need to look. At least I'm not like. Amazing artist. At least I'm not huge on um, books like somebody else who just popped in. Who, Jeannie, is like addicted to books. And so when do we. Me too. When Dweedy, we can hang together, man. When Dweedy shows her books, like I'm tempted, but I just live vicariously through watching her streams. Um, yeah, well that's okay. Cause I'm more into vintage books. Uh oh. Yes, exactly. Let's 
So go hoe your stash. <laughs> Go hoe your stash. Is that what she said? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. I'm trying to think. I don't know what that means. I didn't. I wasn't gonna say it. You said it. <laughs> now sorry. we got hoes in this chat. <laughs> oh, go shop. Go shop your stash. Go hoe your stash. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it said. I know that's what it said. I was trying to ignore it, but now that you said it. I no, yeah, you start showing me vintage books, then I have a problem. Then I have a problem because I have way too many vintage books. Way too many. Like as soon as my garage gets cleared out, I'm going to put up shelves just for my books. So I can actually look at them not digging them out of bins. <laughs> So, but anyway, okay, let's move on to the handle. Uh, this is three-quarter inch piping or cording. I call it cording, uncovered, piping. Um, you can get this at any. You could also use, Darcy is going to use a jump rope from the dollar store. Any kind of cording that would look like this, you could probably roll your own if you wanted to out of uh, fabric or twine or whatever. But you want to use some kind of cording, some kind of rope looking apparatus but the piping is really nice because it's very light it's not very heavy and what I did was I just kind of taped the ends it's three and three quarter inches for this handle for the pattern I tape it and then cut it and that way it won't fray and fall apart on you so you're gonna find the middle of your handle pattern and you're gonna take the hot glue and you're just going to put a stripe down with the glue in the middle I'm getting us all back on track, can you tell? And then once that's stuck down, you want to take your adhesive, the uh, hot glue, I'm just using hot glue, you could use something else, but the hot glue works fine, it holds it fine. And you're just going to now, while it's hot, roll and be very careful, and you're going to press in to where those two meet, and you're going to attach the pleather if you have leather that'll work and you're just going to press those together and that will give you a nice seal there and it encloses and that's how you can make that handle I hope you can see that oh my gosh yes we love Kathy and so looking forward to seeing her too and all I'm going to do is come up and I'm going to um, go around the edge and I'm going to close the handle in. Now, you do have a little overhang in your pattern because um, you're going to take this part and fold it over the ring, okay? So there, you will notice that when you fold it in half that one side is going to be longer than the other. Eileen said she uses heavy clothesline, too, which is way better than actually hanging clothes on it. Do they even make clothesline anymore? Sure. There's nothing like fresh, you know, clothes, like hanging out in the fresh air. I know, but I just didn't think they made I've never seen clothesline. Really? Yeah, I didn't know if they made it anymore. Well, it's not like I'm out looking for it. Exactly. Okay. So when you cut the pattern out, you're going to get, all I do is I lay the pattern down and trace it out. Everybody knows how to do that. Or maybe you don't. But you're going to have this. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the ring and you're just going to put it in, slide it on. And then you're going to fold in half. And then we are going to take, a, I'm using quick grip. E6000, whatever you want to use for this part, um, and you want to glue the edges down like so, and we're just going to clamp it. Clamp. What do I do? I just had the green one. See, that's what happened. I used it to match my mat, and now I can't. Sorry for the arm reach. Whoa. 
I'm going to clamp it while it dries. And in the meantime, I'm going to take the other one. And I've already glued that one. And we're going to go to the next step where you just put that long part through. And then you're just going to fold it over and you're going to attach that like so. Okay. And what you want to do is we're going to attach our handle so that the tabs are facing down like this. Okay, so the tabs are facing down. That way your, the D-rings will face up and the tabs face down. That way your handle goes up and down. If you do it this way, your handle doesn't go up nice. Okay, so you have to make sure that when you glue them on and you adhere them on, your handle will hang, the D-rings hang up at the top <clears throat> of your project. And all we're going to do for this is we are going to make a little mark and uh, the pattern actually is two it's two inches in and a quarter inch down but the D rings are a quarter inch down but I'm just gonna eyeball this oh Cheryl likes the cat on the bag oh thank you you uh, there's gonna be a pattern for it that you can cut out trace around and cut out or cut out and trace around and cut out again whatever <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to poke holes watching my fingers. And normally I would have done this and I forgot. I would have done it before I put in my backing paper. But you can just put a little circle or sticker or something over the brad. But I, I do that all the time. I think of putting in a brad after I've lined it. I know. I try to think it out and then I forget. But that's okay. It can be mixed. No biggie. Oops. So I'm just going to attach the handles. And really, I'm going to end up glue, gluing them on, but I just like to add, I wanted to add the brad because I thought it would be a nice, it'd be an extra hold and hold it, not like you're going to be swinging it around like a real bowling bag or anything, but it just makes it nice and sturdy. Well, some people might swing it around like a real bowling bag, like I would. Because it has a handle. <laughs> I know exactly. So of course I would want to try swinging it. <sighs> okay. That paper is adorable. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you what this paper was, and the pad went flying. It. Um, I'll show it in a minute. Let me uh, let me glue these down. So all I'm going to do here is I'm actually you don't have to glue them because they're pretty stuck on there. <clears throat> they're stuck on there really well with the brads, but I like to kind of tack them down uh, just because I want them to <laughs> because the person that may end up getting this may want to swing them around. So I'm going to do that on that one side real quick and let those dry. So that's what we have so far. We're getting there, people. Um, Jenny says just don't let the cat out of the bag. Oh, my goodness. That's a bad joke. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's too oh. early for that kind of a joke. Just remember to remove the bowling ball before you throw the bag. Oh, yeah, that could hurt. Okay, so this is the paper that I ended up using for the project today. It is die cuts with a view, and it is called um, Chalk Fun. And um, they had it at... To be honest with you, I can't remember if I got it at Michael's or Joanne's. I'm not really sure, but anywhere, any, anyway. But I just thought it was the cutest pattern. They had the cutest patterns in here. So, the arrows. You are so beautiful. Now, it does come with a smelling warning. It does smell. Um, I don't know why this paper smells. 
So, and this isn't an enabler, enabler alert, so I just want to let you know if you don't want to look at anything new, then walk away. Um, but it's really cute. It's nice texture. This would work out great for, for albums because it's heavy. It's heavy cardstock. And it has the texture so that you can, you know, it looks like chalkboard and you can write on it like a chalkboard. But it does have a little funky smell. What's it called? Chalk something. Chalk, the chalk fun stack. So I don't know why it smells. If anybody wants to email D DCW Die Cuts with a View and ask them why it smells. It's probably chalk stuff. Mm, I don't know. It is so cute. I remember liking this stack a lot. Love the Chevron. Because we didn't we see this at CHA? We may have. This is sweet with the banners, flowers, cherish. It has a little bit of a glare because it and it's textured. It's kind of bumpy. I think it's so that the chalk. Um, then it has like frames and it has hearts. Oh, the patterns are really cute. Hearts. I think I had a t shirt like this back in the 80s. <laughs> Scary t shirt. This is cute with the phone and the guitar and the tape and the cloud and the record player and the polaroid and the whale so cute the tv this is really cute paper you can write on it with chalk jean says so and a plaid this is what i used on the front i used the plaid on um, for the front because i thought that was kind of retro -y look And the colorway is like pink, aqua, mustard, and like an orangey red. So, then it has banners and things you can cut out. They're not die cut, though. You have to, you know, fussy cut them out. Words. So, and this is like, I don't, it's kind of wood grainy, but you know what this reminds me of? Static off the TV. You know, this would be cute for your cover on the, on the retro television that you did. It really would. You could put static that, that, on. That's a good justification for me to go get that. <laughs> <laughs> I can send you a piece of the static paper, Darcy. <laughs> no, you have to send me more than that. I gotta do the inside and around all the sides too. Oh goodness. Yeah, that pro I wonder how that paper if it would crack if you're doing something. Let me let me check I'd it. Have, yeah, I'd have to mat you know, I'd have to do it out of cardstock and mat it, but that's how I did that anyway. But I wanna see if it does crack. So say if you're scoring it's a good little test here. I don't recommend using your Tim Holtz ruler for a scoring thing. <laughs> but it was just here. Um, does it crack? Uh, it cracks a little bit, but not as bad as other. Oh, that's good. Not as bad as other stuff. I mean, it. <laughs> Dee Dee. So. They're talking about record players in the chat, and some people are claiming that they are, you know, too young and miss that era. And then Dee Dee says she fires up her Victrola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how could you? You're past that era. When was the last time record players were used? The 80s? When was the last? I was using a record player in the early 80s. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then it got replaced with cassettes. I love that polka dot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lagstash my way okay so okay that's closed now you want to take your um you're going to take the small uh 
hole punch, which is the one eighth of an inch on your crocodile. And you're going to um, punch a hole for the brad into your, oops, into your uh, pleather, <laughs> into the tab. Let's get us all back on track now. Remember, the D ring is going to go up. And we're just going to put the D ring even with the edge. And Darcy's typing away right over top of me. I just I'm typing again. Sorry. I'm going to do this really quick. I just want to zip it up. Oh my gosh, that's so funny, Nap. She said, in school, we still used record players in the 90s. A kindergartner said, that's a cool CD. It's big and black and round. <laughs> no, ah, -uh, that's funny. I'm not measuring, can you tell? I'm just going to eyeball from the other side. Oh, those are cute. Those are rhinestone brads. Yes, they're making memories. I used got them out of my stash. I don't even know if they make them anymore. But you can glue a rhinestone onto a flat brad. Yeah, I feel a lot better now that I know it has rhinestones on it. And make your own. <laughs> Normally I'd be measuring this out. Oh, oops, it helps to open it. Oh, there it is. Not poking myself. Make sure you move your finger away. Oh my, what you might want to do, Jonna, when you after this is measure that and give me those measurements for the for the uh, template because if you know how many, whether it's an inch away from the top and then an inch and a half from the side, that would probably be helpful. But the yeah. issue is if you, they can't get the D ring and they use the binding ring instead, uh -huh. or a key ring, you know, the ring that's on a keychain. if you use one of those, then it'll be a different measurement. Uh -huh. So the thing is you just want to have the ring, the top of the ring, even with your project. Okay. So, I mean, that'll just have to be in some, you know, the worksheet. I have a Polaroid camera. It's pink. I have a Six. Polaroid camera. The 600. But that film is expensive now. Yeah, they make, there's another company that makes the film. Fuji. Fuji came out with the film. Where's my other leg? You can buy like vintage Polaroid 600 film online, but yeah, you don't want to try. I, I wouldn't, unless you're an artist and you're doing it for transfers and cool stuff. Yeah. You can't be sure it's going to work. Remember, D-ring at the top, when you put these in, I'm speaking out of experience. Because <laughs> oh, once this stuff is down, baby, you use that quick grip, it does not want to come off. Just saying. Yeah, the, uh, what I'll end up doing is taking a piece of the paper and I'll just punch a little hole. I mean, I'll punch a circle and I'll just glue that on top of the brads. So you can't see them. Okay. So there, that's what we have so far. And then I put that handle on, and I want to put this one on. I'm going to get out my clamps. Because I'm going to glue and clamp. Glue. I just oh, love the wrong glue. instant gratification of Polaroid. I'm sorry, I just do. It's so fun. I know. I think that's why I like it too, Nap, because of my dad. And he would have them all laying down. Do you remember that? Because you had to wait before you could peel it off. So he'd have them, like, all laying while well, you peel it off, and then you'd wait or something like that. And then he'd have them all, like, laying out, like, on the nearest 
fence or step or something. Oh, yeah. Do you know the one I really enjoyed, though? That was probably back in the early 90s. Oh, thanks, Dee Dee. We're coming up to our three-hour time limit, Jonna. Uh-oh, so should I? Um, I need to stop the recording. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to stop for a second anyway because that has to dry okay. before I do so the So we were talking about, um, I just want to finish that sentence. We were talking okay. about the Polaroid and everyone's talking about remembering and waiting oh in the early 90s when polaroid came out with the joy cam and it was a little polaroid around the size of the instax i think the instax might be a little bit bigger or smaller i can't remember i enjoyed that camera a lot i took that thing with me everywhere and i kept it for a long time and then i wasn't using it for a while and then i found out that it was discontinued i was so shocked oh shoot <laughs> I know. I guess I just didn't have a life for like several years and then I was like, what? Wasn't taking pictures. Yeah, that's what I had too, the Instamatic with the cube. That's what I had all through high school. Took it with me to Spain. And that's why, you know, some of these mini albums, you don't have to make these big, huge mini albums. All those photos were small. Yeah, those, I didn't resize those photos. Those were original, the ones I used in the bowling bag, the other bowl my, of my birthday party. That's That was original size. What is that size? Do you three, know, like three and a half by three and a half yep, or something? Yep, three and a half by three and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I went on a high school trip to Spain, and my parents surprised me with that camera before I left. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way, and then I'm going to, um... And times were really tough, and I certainly didn't expect it, and I remember I cried. But we had a great family. We have a great family. Is Mom still in here? I don't know. I haven't seen her type anything. Did you tell her she couldn't talk? Nope. Did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> she's still here. She's probably knitting and, or making cards. Oh, yeah. She's been on the card frenzy lately. She, uh, they had something at church where they would send cards to people, and she volunteered to make cards that they could send. So I thought that was sweet. Yep. Okay, i got to get the glue off my fingers really quick, and then I'm going to stop the recording and record again. Okay, sorry for the arm reach. This is going to be the end of part one. I will come back and do a highlight video of how to do the strip and stitch binding. So, stop and record.